Rice is at the heart of any meal in Indonesia. Here, at the Jambi Museum on the island of Sumatra, William Wongso shows us how to prepare nasi minyak, or Indonesian fragrant spiced rice. We have a very common uh, aromatic rice dish around this region in, in South India, uh, in Southeast Asia, Singapore, Malaysia, Northern Sumatra, down to partial of Java. But this particular, the lady is going to show us how to do their region style of fragrant rice called nasi minyak. Nasi means rice, minyak is oil. She is from the district of Batanghari. Okay, the unique thing is, is the first time I see the spice. There are two kinds of spice using. First, a mixed spice of cinnamon, star anise, cardamom, cumin, coriander, nutmeg, mace. They make a stock of these spices by boiling it, as using it as the water to cook the rice. But they have another set of spice, which is they use a curry spice, which is to enhance the curry aroma. Okay, let's do it. The, there are two kinds of fat, also not commonly used, is the ghee and the cooking oil, the vegetable oil. And another is unusual thing they use is evaporate milk. The additional fresh aromatic herbs is a, is a curry leaf. This is shallot and tomato ketchup. So you can call this also as uh, tomato rice. Let's do it. Bagaimana mau lain dulu? Okay. And ini masuk? Yeah. This is the semua ya? All. This is the ghee. Wait until it's hot. Half a kilo. Need about more than 100 gram of shallot. It's definitely Indian influence. Fried until light yellow. This is uh, garlic and ginger. This is pineapple. You mash the pineapple. This one, yeah, and the uh, curry powder. Ini garamnya juga, semuanya. Salt. This is the boil of spices as a stock. Bring this spice stock to boil. Now it's boiling. Now it's some tomato ketchup. It's up to you how much you want to use. The more you use, the more red you get. And then the evaporated milk. Give me. Slice onion and leek. You just do it. The curry leaf. And now the rice. It's a short grain. You can use any rice you want. You can use the basmati, you can long grain. It's matter of the texture is different. The shorter is the stickier. This is the principle of what, how you do the risotto. You stir the stock with the rice until the rice absorb the moist, the moisture, and then you keep going on cooking or put in a steamer. 
This is how the texture like before you cover and put in a low, low heat. But you can also do it in the rice cooker. You just, when you do it in the rice cooker, you, you pre-cook everything, you put it together, halfway you open the rice cooker, you stir. You stir until all the spice cover the rice and keep going on the rice cooker. Yeah, to the Now cover, low heat, about 20 minutes. Once you cook the rice, don't open it, just switch off the fire, let it rest for five to 10 minutes, slightly cool down. So basically this, ready like this. And you can do any, cut, any type of curry. If you, this is particular duck curry. You can do mutton curry, but I always prefer the four quarter or shoulder meat or the, the, the front shank meat is the best for, for this kind of curry. It, I believe this is, this is a Indian influence of chutney. They do with mango, green mango, and this one, uh, nana sambal. So let's try it. You see, if you see that kind of a, a lot of spice to boil on the stock, because this is only simmer until boiling, so the spice is not very strong. The duck and in the sweet pineapple sambal just wonderful. This is commonly found in northern Sumatra to the southern part of Sumatra. This particular rice called nasi minyak is a is a oil of fatty rice. Again, you can say it's a aromatic rice, fragrant rice. The lady is cooking from Batanghari region out of Jambi. Terima kasih, Bu. Yeah. Lihat masakannya. Enak. Enak. 